Do you like writing music? Do you like making conlangs? If so, wow, this is a niche video, isn't it? I make many, many, many things, including music conlangs and the occasional music with conlangs in them. I found writing lyrics in a conlang to be a very unique challenge that I'm strangely qualified for, so I figure I'll share seven tips that I've picked up along the way. But firstly, of course, you're gonna need music to put your conlang in. Tip one, I generally find it easier to write melodies and rhythms first, and then come up with lyrics that fit the rhythm and structure of what I now already know can sound good. Tip two, before you even begin writing in your conlang, start with a rough idea of what you want that lyric line to mean. This way you have a jumping point to start translating and getting words down. More than likely though, a literal translation of what you just wrote won't really fit the rhythm of your melody. So this is where we start altering the phrasing and tweaking the meaning a little bit to get the best of both worlds. Tip three, if you come across a word or piece of grammar that you haven't coined yet in this conlang, that's awesome. As long as it abides by your previous phonology and grammar rules, you have all the flexibility to make it fit in as nicely as possible with your rhythm. As a quick aside, using this method, I've stumbled across some particular grammar points that I wouldn't have thought of otherwise. For example, I originally had the line Wani on Moea, meaning everything is cold. This is fine on its own, but in my dictionary, I found a verb wine, meaning to feel. So by replacing the generic verb with this more tactile one, I've created alliteration, wanyang wangwea, plus I can establish the verbiage this culture uses to conceptualize the experience of temperature. I don't think I would have thought to do that. Tip four, I generally like to do one line at a time, since any change in meaning on one line can affect many others below it. This includes rhymes and subsequent lyric lines. Not every song has to rhyme, of course. Different cultures define the concept of rhyming in different ways. But if you want to include this, tip five, consider the vowel you need to rhyme with. If you have a grammatical suffix with that same vowel, it dramatically increases the flexibility you have of choosing new words. I like how this rhyme feels. If you really need to, you can even slant rhymes if vowels aren't too far apart, like a and a, rime, wanyashe. It sort of works. Tip six. Realistically speaking, you are making lyrics that most likely no one will understand other than yourself. So if you really have to stretch a meaning to get anything that'll sound good, that's okay. I try to do this as little as possible, but when I was first starting out, I had some weird nonsense lines. We don't know why you're on the island, but some people can help. Many fellows, they can give each of them. And finally, tip seven. I personally find it much more interesting to show off my conlangs which have writing systems. It adds more visual interest in a video, and to me, it makes the civilization feel much more alive when you can hear them singing along. Making fonts is a skill on its own, but you can easily get a jump start by modifying a font approved free for commercial use. Just make sure you don't sell the font itself. This is not legal advice. This is a YouTube video about making music with a language that doesn't exist. So that's roughly the process I go through to write lyrics using my conlangs. If you want to hear some of my own, I've put some links on screen to a couple conlang songs that I've released. Piggy.